Hey guys, what's up? Just got to the airport. It's pretty early and it's a little chilly. But yesterday, spent most of the day going over the airplane, doing some taxi tests and hanging out um, in the hangar all day, waiting for the winds to die down. They never really did, so thought I'd get out here early today and uh, see if we could get some favorable winds. And it looks like Don, he's headed to Tennessee today in his RV. So let's head back inside and let's do some more engine runs on the airplane. And if the winds are right and it feels right, we may go flying, so stay tuned. circling orbit over the field, Shelby County. Okay, we'll make an RPM. That's a no-go. We've got fuel leak. Got fuel run out on my leg. What a bummer. So I had to abort the takeoff because of that, and the reason why I just found that is I today is the first day that we've had the airplane full of fuel. Uh, I think five eighths to three quarters of a tank is the most we've had in it, and right before I was gonna go fly, I filled the thing all the way up. So that was the first time I've taxied it or done anything with it completely full fuel. Um, I'm glad that I filled it up because it enabled me to find that on the ground before I ever uh, took off. Had I taken off with five eighths to three quarters of a tank of gas, uh, it may not have showed up till I was in the climb, you know, because the fuel sending unit's at the back of the tank and so as you pitch the airplane up, the fuel would have sloshed back, and I may have may have found that on climb out versus finding it on the ground. So I'm glad that I filled the, the tank all the way up, and I was able to catch that on the ground and abort the takeoff. But um, a little confused at the moment on why that would be leaking so bad. Uh, don't have an idea off the top of my head the way I put it back in and sealed it. Um, kind of strange that it would leak that bad. I mean, it wasn't just a drip; it it, it soaked my. Uh, jeans and fuel so I don't know I don't have time to mess with it today but we'll get in there this week I'll open it up see see if I see anything obvious and you know I don't I don't foresee a, a big problem with it it's probably uh, something stupid that I did I'll get it fixed um, get it addressed and hopefully next time we'll be airborne and um, you know I just wanted to give you guys an update on what was going on and, and show you guys the aborted takeoff so thanks for watching I'll see you guys on the next one and hopefully we're airborne.